Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the eighth video on overview of financial reporting, financial statement analysis and valuation. And in this video, we will solve a case on effects of business strategy on common size income statements. I would like to reiterate that viewers should have a good understanding of the business strategies and growth plans of both the companies involved in this case. So please familiarize yourself with how each company operates, know their expansion goals and strategies and analyze how these strategies align with their financial statements that is income statement, balance sheet and cash flow statements. Conduct a thorough research to grasp the full context and implication of the case. Please like, subscribe and share my channel to search for accounting lessons and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For all of your questions, comments and suggestions, please put them in the comment section below. And for webinar and guest speaker invites, please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com. Accounting is a K. We hope that this video helps students in their academic development and teachers in enhancing their lesson plans and teaching methodologies. So let us look into the case. We have to assess the investor relations or corporate information section of the websites Dollar General and Mackey's Incorporation. Study the strategies of each firm. Examine the following common size income statement and indicate which firm is likely to be Dollar General and which is likely to be Mackey's. Explain your reasoning indicate any percentages that seem inconsistent with their strategies. So we have sales, cost of goods sold, selling and administrative expenses, income taxes, all other items and net income. So uh, I would like to first start with the, with the, with the, with the answer based upon this information firm a is a dollar general firm and firm b is mackey's and we are going to dig into uh, the different clues that support our answer now dollar general and mackey's are going to have different markup and profitability levels due to their unique retail strategies and business models, especially in how they sell branded products. Coming to the uh, to Dollar General, it is a discount retailer selling everyday items such as groceries and household goods. They maintain low prices by purchasing in bulk and negotiating favorable deals. Despite low prices, they achieve profitability through high volume sales and efficient operations. Mackey's is a department store offering a wide selection of branded products in fashion, beauty and home goods. They target affluent customers seeking quality and fashionable items including personalized shopping experiences. Mackey sources branded products directly from the manufacturers or through exclusive agreements. They set higher retail prices, achieving significant markups that include product cost and reflect added value, prestige and the shopping experience associated with Mackey's. Talking about the customer demographic and shopping experience, Dollar General targets diverse customers seeking affordability and convenience. Stores are typically located in suburban and rural areas. 
they offer a variety of basic everyday products at lower prices and focus is on providing budget friendly alternatives to branded items mackie's targets up scale shoppers with famous brands and designer collections stores are located in city centers or popular shopping district they offer a luxurious shopping experience with personalized service mackie provides exclusive products that emphasize quality style and brand prestige customers are willing to pay high prices for these attributes next let us talk about the retail strategy and profit margins of the two firms now dollar general sells items at low prices in bulk their profit margin per item are lower compared to mackies profitability is sustained through fast inventory turnover operations are optimized for efficiency to support profitability mackies markup branded products are higher due to their higher acquisition cost for premium brands they charge higher retail prices leveraging brand loyalty and customer perception this strategy boosts mackies profitability per item sold regarding sales and market share discount stores like dollar general prioritize selling large quantities of products at lower prices they appeal to price sensitive consumers including budget conscious families despite lower profit margins per item these stores aim to expand their market share through volume sales strategies regarding competitive advantage discount stores excel by consistently offering lower prices they attract consumer customers seeking value and affordability uh, this strategy often diverts customers from higher price competitors by doing a discount stores increase their market share within their segments customers loyalty and repeat business uh, regarding uh, dollar general lower prices at discount stores they foster customer loyalty and encourage repeat visits shoppers who find good deals are more likely to return to future purchases customers perceive discount stores as reliable sources for affordable goods this strengthens the store's position in the market by increasing customer retention discount stores leverage economies of scale through bulk purchasing they negotiate lower acquisition cost per unit from manufacturers or distributors this strategy allows them to offer competitive retail price high sales volumes help maintain profitability despite lower profit margins per item pricing low helps in positioning discount stores as affordable alternatives to higher priced competitors they cater a wide range of consumers who prioritize saving money without sacrificing product quality entirely this positioning reinforces the store's brand image as a place where shoppers can find good value on everyday essentials and other merchandise lower prices at discount store encourage impulse purchasing customers are inclined to buy additional items or large quantities to take advantage of savings this behavior increases transaction sizes and overall sales volume discount stores offer low prices to boost sales volume and attract customers they aim to build customer loyalty through affordability and consistent savings cost efficiency is achieved by purchasing in bulk these stores strengthen their market positioning by maintaining competitive pricing lower prices also encourage impulse buying 
increasing overall sales. Mackey's general maintains a lower cost of goods sold than Dollar General. Department stores such as Mackey's use advertising and promotion to stimulate customer demand. Discount stores operate large stores in busy suburbans or urban areas with high rental cost. They require spacious layouts to display diverse product ranges effectively. The large store size accommodates high customer traffic and facilitates efficient operations. Discount stores with larger physical footprints face higher maintenance cost. Costs include utilities, cleaning services, security measures, and general upkeep. Operating expenses such as heating, cooling, and lighting are substantial due to the size of the retail space. Efficient logistics and inventory systems are crucial for managing inventory in large retail spaces. Costs include expenses for storage, transportation, and distribution of products. Maintaining adequate product availability on shelves requires effective management of large volumes of merchandise. Handling these operations contributes to overall operational expenses for discount stores. Discount stores like Dollar General require ample parking space to accommodate high customer volume which raises maintenance cost, ensuring accessibility for customers with disabilities involves expenses to comply with building codes and regulations. Securing prime retail locations require strategic investment in real estate or leasing agreement. These locations enhance visibility and accessibility for customers, higher rental or acquisition cost, associated with prime locations impact overall operating expenses for discount stores. Discount stores offer higher retail space cost with economies of scale and efficient supply chain management. They achieve competitive pricing and profitability through high sales volume. Balancing operational expenses with revenue strategies optimizes store performance. This approach helps discount stores maintain affordability for customers. Higher cost for physical retail space drive up selling and administrative expenses as a percentage of sales. This impacts the overall financial structure of discount stores and managing these costs becomes crucial for maintaining profitability and competitive pricing. Rent or lease expenses for retail space are major components of selling and administrative expenses for discount stores. Discount stores often occupy large premises in large prime retail locations with high foot traffic and visibility. Such substantial rental costs in these locations increase the percentage of revenue allocated to rent or lease payments. This impacts overall selling and administrative expenses for discount stores as you can see over here. Maintaining a large retail space involving covering expenses for utilities, electricity, heating, calling, cleaning services, security systems and general upkeep. So these costs are in crucial to ensure safe, comfortable and attractive shopping environment. For discount stores like Dollar, the, these expenses as a percentage of sales can be considerable, particularly with extensive facilities and infrastructure to manage. Efficiently managing inventory in large retail spaces require robust logistics and inventory management systems. Costs include expenses for warehousing, transportation and distribution of goods. Selling and administrative expenses also encompass logistic staff salaries. Additional costs involve storage facilities, facility rentals or depreciation. Transportation expenses and technology investments are necessary for optimizing inventory levels 
and meeting customer demand effectively. Large retail stores like Dollar, especially discount stores, may need a sizable workforce for customer service, sales, stocking, and administrative duties. Significant expenses include employee salaries, benefits, training programs, and other personnel related costs. Due to their large, larger size and operational complexity, dollar store require more employee compared to smaller retail formats. These factors collectively contribute to higher operational expenses as a percentage of sales for discount stores. Dollar general invest in obviously in marketing campaigns, promotions and advertising to attract customers and increase sales. These expenses include advertising costs, promotional discounts, loyalty programs and other marketing activities. Such expenses fall under selling and administrative expenses in the store's financial records. The impact of these efforts on the expense ratio relative to sales depends on their effectiveness and scale. Physical retail space costs such as rent, maintenance, logistics, staffing and marketing contribute to higher selling and administrative expenses for discount stores like Dollar General. These expenses are essential investments to maintain competitiveness, attract customers and ensure efficient retail operation. They reflect the financial commitment required to sustain a robust presence in large scale retail environments. Finally, let us talk about the financial and operational aspects. Uh, let us first talk about say the debt financing strategy. Uh, Dollar General is a large discount retailer that relies on debt financing for funding growth, store expansions and daily operational needs. Debt allows Dollar General to use its assets and future cash flows to raise capital quickly and potentially at lower cost than using equity. However, managing debt also entails handling interest expenses which are recorded as part of Dollar General's operating cost. Uh, Mackey's utilizes both debt and equity financing to fund its operations and investments. The financial strategy at Mackey is likely balanced considering the specific capital requirements and operational strategies of a department store. This approach contrasts with Dollar General which may rely more heavily on debt financing for its growth and operational expenses. Mackey's strategic use of debt and equity reflect its distinct market positioning and operational model compared to Dollar General. Dollar General incurs substantial interest expenses due to its high level of debt. So these expenses are recorded on its income statement as interest expense or finance cost. They arise from borrowing money through bonds, loans or credit lines. The amount of interest expense relative to dollar general sales revenue can be significant, indicating the scale of its debt commitments. Mackey's gen generally has lower interest expenses than dollar general due to having less overall debt, potentially securing lower interest rates on its debts, maintaining a smaller push proportion of its financing from debt compared to equity. So this difference in interest expenses reflects Mackey's strategic management of its capital structure and financing strategies. High debt levels increase financial leverage for dollar general. Debt provides tax advantages and flexibility in spending. However, it exposes the company to risk such as fluctuating interest rates. Debt repayment and credit risk are also significant um, in this regard. Mackey 
adopting a conservative approach to debt financing can enhance stability and flexibility. Lowering interest cost relative to revenue could improve profitability and cash flow. This results depends on market conditions and strategic decisions made by Mackey's. Dollar generals higher interest expense results from extensive use of debt for operations and growth. This strategic choice affects dollar generals financial strength, risk exposure and operational flexibility in the competitive retail market. The expectation that department stores like Mackey would typically have a higher net income to sales percentage compared to discount scores like Dollar General can be explained by several key factors inherent in their business models and marketing positions. Like Mackey specializes in upscale branded merchandise such as fashion apparel, accessories, cosmetics and home goods. They command higher retail prices due to the perceived quality and brand prestige associated with their offerings. This pricing strategy enables Mackey's to achieve higher gross profit margins on their sales compared to competitors. Dollar General and similar discount stores prioritize offering everyday essentials and basic merchandise at affordable prices. They target high sales volume through their pricing strategy. Profit margins per unit are generally lower due to competitive pricing and no narrower margins on discounted items. Mackey provides a wide range of branded products and designer connections known for higher profit margins. They focus on seasonal trends and fashion cycles to reshape their pricing and inventory management. In contrast to discount stores, Mackey's offerings are more varied and cater to diverse consumer preferences. Dollar General emphasizes efficient management of a lean inventory of everyday consumables and household items. This approach results in lower average selling prices Profit margins per unit are narrower due to competitive pricing strategy despite potentially higher sales volume. Mackey's operates on a larger scale with prime locations. They provide additional services such as personal shopping, alterations and customer loyalty programs. Higher operating costs are managed effectively due to their large revenue base and operational efficiency. Dollar General benefits from economies of scale in purchasing and distribution but may struggle to maintain high profitability margins. This is because of operational costs linked to managing numerous smaller stores and the turnover of lower margin products. Finally, Mackey attracts affluent customers with higher purchasing power. These customers are willing to spend on premium and discretionary items. This demographic contributes to higher average transaction values and potentially higher profit margins for Mackey's. Dollar General targets budget conscious consumers seeking value oriented purchases. The emphasis on lower prices items and frequent promotions boost sales volume. However, this strategy often leads to compressed profit margins. Mackey's achieves a higher net income percentage due to pricing strategies and product mix. Operational efficiencies further bolster Mackey's profitability. Higher margins on premium products contribute significantly to Mackey's advantage. In contrast, dollar stores or dollar general rely on lowering margin, high volume sales strategies affecting their net income percentage. So this completes the eighth video on financial statement analysis. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and if you found value in this video then please like, subscribe and share my channel and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For webinar and guest speaker invites, 
please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com. Remember, effective questioning brings insight which fuels curiosity, which cultivates wisdom. If you have any question or any suggestion regarding this session, then please put them in the comment box below or by email and inshallah I will reply you back. Thank you so much and happy learning.